I want to start with uh, how much I loved season, the five episodes I've seen of this season. Oh, amazing. Uh, oh, it's, wow. so much. It's, it's so good. Um, but I'm, I'm, I have a million questions, so I'm so curious. How did you end up with, I believe it's nine episodes. Um, yeah. How did you end up with nine? Did you ever consider eight? Did you ever consider like 12? How did the nine come about? <laughs> It, it, it was, a, it, it was you know, eight is sort of, that was season one. So that's the number we always start at. And that was this season. I think it was, we were at least halfway, but I think probably over halfway through the season when we sat, we were trying to squeeze this story in and we sat down with our writers and we said, I don't, I don't think this is feasible in eight episodes. And so we went to Netflix and said, hey, are you okay if we do one more episode? And uh, luckily they were very supportive of that, but that's how we ended up with that extra episode, but it was not originally planned that way. It wasn't outlined that way. It was always going to be eight. And then it just ended up being too much story, but it's not even like nine. It's, it's almost double the length of it's like 800 pages. It's just, it's just really, really long season, which is why it took so long to, to get out. And it took us a while to realize that. But in seven, episode seven and nine are very, very long episodes. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah. Are, I mean, they're, they're, those are full blown movies. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was going to say, because the most of the episodes are like an hour and 15 minutes each. Are you saying episodes yeah. seven and nine are like an hour and a half or are they longer? Uh, um, longer. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, yeah. this, expl this explains a lot. So um, yeah. I have to ask <laughs> yeah. you. You guys are in the end game of Stranger Things. And I'm curious, when you were writing season four, how much have you guys actually figured out where it's all going? And knowing when you were writing season four, you're building towards that. I'm just sort of yeah. curious, you know? Well, I mean, you know, we had this moment when we were working on season one where Netflix, <laughs> I, I love that. Actually, I'm really glad they made us do this. They go, just can you please just sit down and write out all the mythology? Because we would always be trying to explaining the upside down, how it works to them. Because a lot in season one, it's unknown, right? It's, it's all mysterious. But they were like, we would just like to know the logic the, behind the mythology. And so we sat down with our writers and we generated it. We still have it. It's like a 25 page Bible all about the upside down. And, you know, like season one, we didn't want to reveal too much. But, you know, we, we knew five was going to be the last season and, we're going, you know, we got to start, we got to start showing some of our cards. Season three was more like, we're just kind of playing in the sandbox, right? That's what it felt like to me. It's like, oh, we got all our toys. Let's play. Season four, it's like, okay, let's, we, we got, we got to start telling people. We got to start reveal. There's still more to reveal, but I think see that this season for sure is going to be the most uh, revelatory um, season. I mean, that we hand out, there's still, there's still some unknowns. There's a couple more big surprises, I think, but that we really wanted to go, okay, we're in in-game territory now. So let's, yeah, let's start showing our, showing our, our hand a little bit. And so that was, that was fun. But I think as we were writing, we realized, oh, this is actually to do this properly and to have these moments land properly, we just need time. And so that's one reason the episode's lengths are longer and that's one reason it's it's nine episodes but it was nice because steve we got uh it, we had we're able for the first time ever to write all nine we write it we had, we had all scripts before we started shooting so we could look at the whole thing as a whole and we outlined all of five so it really is four and five are like of a piece and this was due to the six month hiatus that we had uh, due to due to the due to the pandemic, so we don't typically have as much time. It usually feels like the train is going down the tracks, and Ross and I are just and our writers are just throwing down track as we're going. Once we're halfway through the season, and for the first time ever, we were able to look at it globally, not just season four, but season five as well. And they really are of a piece. And there's even stuff this season where they 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 talk they they we just start we're able to actually really hint at some big events that are going to happen in season five. So and that's a result of 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 the pandemic and just us has, being able to sit down with our writers and really hammer out uh, what five is going to be. Um, I'm already out of time. I can't effing believe it. If you guys ever have more time to talk to me, please let me know. To. Please, oh, I would love really love yeah. We'll figure that out soon. This is I would, I would really appreciate it. I just want to ask about filmmaking and the behind the scenes of the making oh, of the show. Oh yeah, um, my favorite thing to talk about. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let we'll me know. We'll Thank you. Out. You guys have a great day. Bye.